There are multiple reports surfacing right now that Tua is done for the season with that hip injury. And, and Coach, you know Coach Saban's dilemma all too well. I do, and first of all, prayers to Tua and his family. I mean, that kid's a warrior, and uh, I've been in that situation many, many times. You know, you're, you, I, I, I saw Coach Saban's face, first of all, and you could tell he's hurt bad. That, that, you know, he cares about his players, and, and you know, you guys play this a tough game, man. It's a yeah. tough game, and, uh, you know, I just think about he, he, the way he said they wanted to get him a two-minute drill, and that's priceless for a player, especially when they're getting ready to play the Auburn and the mm -hmm. maybe a uh, playoff. Especially and because I, they haven't had many this season. And I get yeah. it. I get it now. And, and the first thing I can hear people saying when well, that coach had him out of the game, wait a minute. The first thing, this had nothing to do with his ankle. His ankle, because I started hearing people saying he shouldn't have been in there. He was cleared by the trainers. He made a decision to play in the game. The kid was very involved in that decision. I see nothing wrong with it other than that's the worst part of the starting game was when you see players like that get hurt. Well, on the flip side, Coach, from a player's perspective and having been through these kinds of injuries uh, time and time again, um, the one thing that I always ask the question of, me and Brady went back and forth on this, was would, how would he look if he played against LSU? And then we saw the LSU game. He didn't look great. His arm looked great. But him moving around didn't look good. And anybody with two with, with pair of eyes could see that he was still fighting through that injury. And he was still really, you know, trying to battle back from it, right? He wasn't 100%. Um, and then we fast forward to this game where the one thing that I know for sure is true is when you have one injury, other things start to compensate on your body. Now, that doesn't mean that the hip injury was directly because of that. But I can only imagine that his hip, other places started to compensate you know, for the, for, for the high ankle sprain, which is a very, very tricky injury. It's not like any other injury because you can look good on the field, but the second somebody tackles you, is you're done. I right? got a good story for you, Reg. So Tim Tebow gets knocked cold against uh, Kentucky. This is 2000, whatever it was, nine, I believe. Yeah, 2009, and we have a bye week, and I'm not going to play him. I'm not going to play that kid against LSU, and we're, I think we're number one team in America. And Tim and his father come to my house and say, what gives you the right to not play me? Yeah. The doctor, the professionals have made the decision I can play, I'm going to play. And I said, Tim, you're not going to play. I'm not putting you because I don't know if I put my son in that game. He convinced me to play him in that game because mm -hmm. what gives, I've been cleared. And I yeah. can just imagine the conversations, because I, I know what kind of coach Saban, he's a great coach. He cares about his players. I'm just, that, that conversation he had with Tua right there, I can imagine that. We'll give you one more series. I'll let him go play. So that's a tough situation. Yeah, and so I just want to ask, I want to leave everybody with this question before we go to break is, what now, knowing what we know about Tua, what is the incentive for Chase Young to come back in the play? Ooh. What is the incentive for him to come back now and play? Because we asked this question last week, and now it's, it's hitting us square in the face. We're seeing Tua injured on the ground, possibly done for the rest of the season. Hopefully not further than that. But now you look at Chase Young. He's already going to be a top three draft pick. What is incentive for him to come back? I mean, you look at it both ways. This is a business decision, but it's also trying to win a national championship. Again, reports out there he's done for the year. We have not received confirmation yet from Alabama. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.